time for Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. When it comes to news on 95.1 FM, weather always comes first. A strong storm departs the Mid-Atlantic and moves into the northeast. Heavy to excessive rainfall, small stream, urban and flash flooding, coastal impacts, and strong to severe thunderstorms are expected. Behind this storm, lake effect snow from the Great Lakes towards the Appalachians. Closer to home, partly sunny this week with a slight chance of showers on Wednesday night. We'll have another look at the weather following this news. The village of Tularosa is having a regular meeting Wednesday at 6 p.m. The agenda has been posted on villageoftularosa.com. Please be aware that the City of Alamogordo facility maintenance crew will be installing traffic camera and cabinet upgrades beginning today between the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. I spoke with facility maintenance clerk Sarah Crawford. Uh, on, usually on one of the corners, there's some kind of like large cabinet. Inside the cabinet is where all the controls are in the computer, determining the, the programming for the traffic lights. And so that's what we're actually going to be changing out. The upgrades will be completed one intersection at a time in the following order. Indian Wells in Florida, 10th in College, 10th in Washington, 10th in Cuba, 10th in Florida, 1st in Cuba, and 1st in Maryland. The work is expected to be completed by week's end. We are now in the season for giving, and Toys for Tots is out looking for new unwrapped toys to give to those less fortunate. I spoke with Gina Lawrence, who told me where the drop boxes can be found. Mad Coffee, Lowe's Grocery Store, TDS, Direct Mail, Big Lots, Ponham Veterinary Care, French Brothers, Planet Fitness, Home to Suites by Hilton, the Alamogordo Public Library, Tularosa Basin, Dispatch, Walgreens, Ashley Furniture in the Mall, Pizza 9, Mountain View Dental, First Savings Bank, Your Community Connection Thrift Store, Change Hair Salon in the Mall, and High Rolls General Store also has a box. Application deadlines have passed, so now we just need to simply collect enough toys for the kids who have applied. You can hear this interview in its entirety by visiting the KALH Crazy Radio YouTube channel. The Alamo Senior Center is offering bread and cranberry relish. If you want some of this, it is a prepaid order only. For cranberry relish, it'll be a one-quart bag for $8. For rolls, they will be 6 for $5 or 12 for $10. You can place your order now through December 20th at the Alamo Senior Center reception desk and pick them up on the 22nd. If you have any questions, 575-439-4150. The Alamogordo Chess Club weekly meetings are at Plateau Espresso every Monday from 4 until 7. I spoke with Matt Grinberg, and he says no matter your skill set, from top-notch master to a beginner, or even someone who just wants to learn, all are welcome. Anybody can come. You know, anybody who uh, shows up regularly, I'm sure, would be happy to uh, help out the player who uh, wanted uh, to learn. It's casual chess. Pair up with whoever's available. There are no membership requirements or fees. Just show up with a board, set it up, and play. Tularosa schools are selling yearbooks right now at cost. I spoke with Melanie Boussier. So what we're doing is from now until December 20th, the yearbook staff is going to run a holiday special on both books, both the high school book and the K-8 book. The books can be purchased at cost, which is that forty-two seventy-five. That's literally what Jostens is charging us to print the book. And that's without tax, but it has to be purchased in-house. So that's cash, check, or money order made out to Tularosa Schools. Books at $42.75 in full color and only available by contacting the school directly, not purchasing online. If you want some information, call 575-585-8866. And you can hear this interview in its entirety on the crazy KALH Radio YouTube channel. Runner's Refuge is closing in on one year of serving the community. Pastor Rich Hernandez spoke with me yesterday about a new service that's coming this week. So we're going to probably open up the doors Monday through Friday uh, whenever the kids are out of school. We'll probably do stuff like Hamburger Helper or maybe some goulash or something to stick to their ribs, you know what I mean? Some uh, mac and cheese. Yeah, a lot of the kids, they only eat at school. Details will be posted on the Runner's Refuge Facebook page. As for the needs of the shelter itself... If we had 200 people that would commit to $35 a month, that would cover three staff positions that would be great to be able to keep people there. It's not going to be a lot of money, but it'll be something. 
it would pay all the insurance. The insurance is super expensive just because of the people that we cater to and then uh, keep the lights on. So we'd need 200 people to give us, you know, $35 a month. We'd be good to go. If you want to help, contact Runner's Refuge, mail in a check, deliver cash, or you can send it online. Look for a drop down so that you can be sure your money remains in Otero County. Well, today is Monday. That means we get a pup date from Animal Village NM. Hi, this is Sunny Harris with Animal Village NM, Low Income Spay Neuter, Pet Food Bank, and Rescue Transport in Ruidoso, New Mexico. And today is the last day, the last day, the last day to sign up for Mountain Spirits Angel Paws gifts for your pets. These gifts are for the pets of all food bank recipients at Love Inc. in Alamogordo and those of the Lincoln County Food Bank in Ruidoso. They both have the forms there at the food banks, or you can download the forms from our website at animalvillagenm.org, animalvillagenm.org, and turn them in at the food bank. Today is the last day. Mountain Spirit and I will be delivering the gift packages to Love, Inc. tomorrow, Tuesday, December 9th, and to Lincoln County Food Bank in Ruidoso on Wednesday, December 20th. Our wonderful ambassador, Mountain Spirit, was rescued as one of thousands of starving, injured wild dogs on the Mescalero Reservation. And he wants to give back. So these will be the first pet gifts given out by Animal Village NM and Mountain Spirit for cats and dogs in need, who will then have essential surprise and toys for Christmas. Love, Inc. has Mountain Spirit's angel forms for their food bank clients at 1106 Ohio, Alamogordo, next to Lowe's Market. When you pick up your food at the food bank, including the pet food we supply there, ask for Mountain Spirits Angel Paws form and just check off what you need for your pet for Christmas. Hurry in to Love, Inc. or Rudoso's Lincoln County Food Bank now because it's first come, first served, and there are limited amounts of leashes, collars, halters, toys, beds, and bowls available. That's what we're doing to make a difference. How about you? There are still free applications available for spay and neuter this year. Improve your community, improve your pet's health, and your life. But the funding is running out fast. So email us now for your application at animalvillagenm.org, animalvillagenm.org. Funding is available for all sizes of dogs and cats, but to get the surgery for free, you must apply now, animalvillagenm.org. Don't phone us. Just email us for an application. This cold holiday season, make a difference for the animals in your community who can't help themselves. Become a monthly sponsor to stay and neuter, feed, and transport animals in need by donating to Animal Village NM for the animals in your neighborhood, your town, and your state. And if you're going to adopt, remember, the care of a pet is a sacred lifetime responsibility. Adopt for life and remember to research in advance what it costs. This is Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. AlamogordoTownNews.com is a locally owned website featuring local news matters from a local perspective that affects you, and we bring it to you directly. Plus, local sports, cultural arts, and events. Online, AlamogordoTownNews.com. Owned and operated by Second Life Media. We are Otero County. Directory Plus is the right size book. It's the book if you need a phone book. That's what just one person has to say about Directory Plus. With its red cover, features, colorful yellow pages, and lots more, it's no wonder people all over use Directory Plus. It has so much more information. You can cross-check phone numbers or addresses or pretty much anything. Look on the plus side, Directory Plus. I'm a big fan of Directory Plus. Otero County, it's time for our annual first responder Christmas Eve dinner. This dinner is one small way we show our appreciation to those heroes that have our backs every day. To thank them, every year we hold a potluck-style dinner on Christmas Eve for the on-duty first responders at the Desert Hills Church of Christ, but we need you to cook a dish or to help with serving. Please go to the Otero County Fire EMS Appreciation Facebook page for more details. Let's make sure our heroes know how much we love them. God bless and have a Merry Christmas. A Las Cruces jury found 19-year-old Jamari Sanchez guilty of second-degree murder on Friday. Sanchez, who was a juvenile when he killed 31-year-old Matthew Portillo back in September of 2021, was tried as an adult. Sanchez and three other teens were driving in the early morning hours of September 5th of 2021. They pulled up to Portillo, who police say was drunk and walking home. Sanchez, sitting in a back passenger seat, started arguing with Portillo. 
Surveillance video shows Sanchez then shot Portillo. When emergency crews arrived at the scene later, they found Portillo had suffered a single gunshot wound to the head. The sentencing for Sanchez has not yet been scheduled. Multiple New Mexico residents were arrested for drug trafficking. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, six firearms and meth were seized during the arrest in both Clovis and Redoso Downs. On December 6th, several people were indicted for distributing 50 grams or more of methamphetamine in Curry, Lincoln, Roosevelt, and Cibola counties from late 2022 until late 2023. If convicted, the suspects could face 10 years to life in prison. The DEA was involved in this case. Josette Monette is the new secretary-designate for the Indian Affairs Department, following previous Secretary James Mountain's departure amid controversy and rape allegations. We would hope that the Indian Affairs Division would listen to the voices of the families, that they would listen to the voices of the advocates, and that they would try to fight to ensure that the New Mexico MMIWR Task Force is reinstated to the original form, because that was extremely powerful and successful. Darlene Gomez, an advocate for the missing and murdered indigenous women and relatives, speaking with KOAT. We want to become number one again, and we want to prevent future MMIWR cases. We want to solve current cases, and we want the entire world to know that New Mexico values their indigenous women and men. Monette will remain a designee until the New Mexico legislature approves her full appointment. A study released by immigrant rights organizations in New Mexico says that a statewide guaranteed income pilot program was a success. You heard that right. Success is defined as taking your money and giving it to illegals. Last week at the Roundhouse, advocacy groups presented a report that says the program allows low-wage earners to pursue better jobs, increase their educational levels, and improve critical outcomes for their children. Javier Rijo is a senior research and policy analyst with the Voices for Children and the report's author. He appeared on KSFR Radio. We uncovered deep inequities between mixed status families and the rest of the state's population. We also uncovered inequities between our, our urban and rural populations. In terms of our pilot program, our outcome, the outcomes, we learned that guaranteed income helps improve employment opportunities and create economic opportunities. It creates housing and food security, and it has an outsized impact in rural communities. I can't believe this guy released a report that suggests that there's inequalities between those who work and those who don't work, or those who are not here legally so they can't really get it. Never mind. The 18-month guaranteed income program was created in 2022 in order to address poverty and economic security for low-income, mixed immigration status families and workers in New Mexico. 330 immigrant families from across the state were chosen for this program and were initially given $500 a month. Sports and weather are next. This is Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. They are role models and educators. Their work requires a great deal of time and energy for very little pay. Who are these unsung heroes? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. The simple truth about education-based athletics in New Mexico is this. Without a committed team of coaches and administrators, they just wouldn't be possible. School sports, they bring out the best in all of us. This message presented by the New Mexico Activities Association and the New Mexico Athletic Directors Association. There are four games for New Mexico girls basketball today, including Carlsbad at Alamogordo. (laughs) Go Lady Tigers. There are eight games for New Mexico varsity basketball today, including Loving facing an unnamed non-varsity opponent. Your crazy radio spot on weather forecast for the Tularosa Basin today calls for partly sunny skies, mostly cloudy tonight, partly sunny tomorrow. Your high today in the basin, 59, low tonight of 38, high tomorrow, 63 degrees. In Cloudcroft, partly sunny skies today, mostly cloudy tonight, partly sunny tomorrow. Your high today in Cloudcroft, 46. Low tonight of 30, high tomorrow, 48 degrees. Local breaking news can be found on our website, alamogordotownnews.com. And you can learn more about Crazy Radio by visiting klhradio.org. Also, check out the Crazy KLH Radio YouTube channel. That's where we post our daily newscasts, complete interviews, and other information which concerns everyone in the Tularosa Basin. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. That way you too can remain informed of the goings-on in the Tularosa Basin. Well, that concludes this Monday edition of Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. Oh, and a reminder, 
Christmas is one week from today.